Hello there, in this guide I want to show you how to unlock the FPS in Weathering Waves to up to 120 FPS and also add the ability to enable ray tracing effects if you wish to add those. The following method is completely safe and will not get you into trouble or get you banned, so don't worry about that. So let's get into it. First thing is to go to this GitHub link right here. Link will be in the video description. Scroll a bit down until we find the releases link here. Click on it. Then we download this file. After it's done downloading, we go to the downloads folder and we extract it. We just right click on it, click extract, and then extract here. It should open the folder automatically. If it doesn't, just go ahead and open the folder where, where it's extracted. Go to main, then open this executable as admin so you don't get a warning. These two windows should pop up. As you can see here, we can't use this software yet unless we close the game. So make sure it's closed. Then we click on this browse and we select the game's executable. We click on open and then it should tell us all the things that it's doing. We just click OK on each window. And this should be it for the unlocking of FPS. If you want ray tracing, you go ahead and click this option and then go through this click in yes then choosing here the effects you want to enable and with which quality I'll select low then confirm and click on OK now we're done with this software we can just delete it if we wish to do so just make sure you have a powerful enough graphic card to enable the ray tracing options otherwise your performance will be really bad now we go ahead and open the launcher if the ray tracing is enabled we need to launch the game in DirectX 12 so make sure this option right here is unchecked so the game runs with the X12 and now as you can see the FPS is unlocked if you wish to disable the ray tracing, you can just go to the software and open it like before. Then in the ray tracing option, we just click this ray tracing button and then select the game's executable. And from here, instead of clicking yes, we click on no. Click on no will disable the ray tracing effects and that should be it. I hope this tutorial helped you out and peace out.